We've all heard the story of the lady that lifted the car off of her child to save them. But you ever wonder why we're not able to access that strength all the time? It's because of today's topic, cortical inhibition. Cortical inhibition is a neurophysiological process where the neurotransmitters gamma aminobutric acid or GABA attenuates the activity of other neurons in the cortex. In English, it's our brain's way of putting the brakes on our body to prevent self-injury. This mechanism ensures that we don't overexert ourselves to the point of harm, aka destroying our own body. We've all heard the stories of those crazy feats of strength, like someone lifting a car off a trapped child or being launched into the air after a lightning strike. These events highlight the incredible potential of the human body. Keywords, potential. Usually held in check though by cortical inhibition to prevent lifelong damage. When performing isometric exercises, particularly OI or overcoming isometrics, pushing or pulling against an immovable force, we challenge our cortical inhibition. This type of training can lead to remarkable strength gains by allowing us to exert maximum effort safely. For example, I've experienced this firsthand with my knee injuries. Initially, I was hesitant to push hard during leg exercises due to pain and fear of further injury. However, by gradually increasing the intensity with the ISO chain back in 2020 and 2021, I've started to overcome this inhibition and strengthen my knees. It is 2024 and my knees have never felt better for longtime members of the squad. You guys have seen my shorts of me squatting and doing hack squats and stuff like that, which it just simply was not happening before I started training this way. In 2017, I injured my left knee doing lunges, and in 2018, I hurt my right knee on the leg press. It was just awful. Both injuries were due to poor judgment, rushing through workouts, and neglecting proper safety measures. Initially, this made me cautious during leg exercises moving forward as my body naturally tried to protect itself from pain. The first few days of using the ISO chain, my numbers were low, as I kind of figured. My brain was signaling, hey, this hurts, take it easy. Over time, however, as I continued with the isometric exercises, I noticed a gradual reduction in pain and an increase in strength. While the pain wasn't completely gone at first, it started to become significantly less, allowing me to push harder with less fear. And now in 2024, it's totally gone. IsoChain and IsoMax's force gauge is a game changer. It provides precise feedback on your force output, helping you understand how much effort you're truly exerting. Without this feedback, it's easy to believe you're giving maximum effort when we're not. The force gauge helps break through cortical inhibition by showing you exactly what you're capable of. Using the IsoChain or IsoMax daily as suggested in the isometric manual can significantly reduce cortical inhibition. Even if daily training is impossible due to life circumstances, regular use will still yield benefits. Consistency is key and cortical inhibition decreases over time, allowing for greater strength gains. No, we're not gonna be able to leap over tall buildings in a single bound. But if you'd like to have an example of what exactly is the end game of training OI year after year after year after year, then I highly recommend you check out this video on a certain Alexander's ass. Crazy thumbnail, right? And we'll see you over there.